I, I couldn't imagine that what we were doing was so unusual. But in fact, it was, because it was in complete contrast to kind of the fast food experience. It was like a slow food experience. And I had been inspired when I was 19 and I went to France. And I wanted to live like the French. And they took time at the table. And we only had one menu. So we had to make it very, very tasty every night to bring people back. And and I think it really was something surprising to people, uh, just for the format, but also the taste that people didn't have radishes then or a little salad, and they never had salad after dinner, you know, that between the main course and the dessert. And I think it was all of those ideas and and the fact that we were part of a counterculture. We weren't running a restaurant like other restaurants. We were doing it like we did it at home. We weren't trained in a way, so we didn't make things in advance. We just made them for that night. And I thought that was a way to control the waste, to know how many people were coming to cook for them, and that would be that. And in fact, it worked like that, that we used up all the fish in the night that we had it. We didn't have to save it for the next day. But we made the tarts two at a time. We didn't make them assembly line fashion. And it was all of that sort of home cooking that became our practices in the restaurant and still are still are really. We go to the farmers markets, we buy directly from the farmer, we take up the compost, we bring back the vegetables. It's kind of a, uh, a we, we couldn't imagine it any other way. And it's always uh, a great pleasure to talk to our suppliers, whether it's on the phone or in person, because it's their ingredients that make Chez Panisse what it is.